Welcome, in front of me is a TCL406 and today I'll show you how you can record screen on this device. So to get started we're gonna pull down our notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen. And try it again, there we go. And then you wanna swipe down once again to extend the list of toggles like so. Now one of those toggles should be a screen recording, now if you don't see it uh, in here, which I don't. I'm going to click right here on this pencil and this will then display all the toggles below that are turned off by default, which we can actually add. Now we are looking for the screen recorder. For me, that is right over here. I'm going to grab it. You will have a vibrational device, which will then allow you to drag it to the top. There we go. And you can drop it wherever you want. And now when you go back, you should have this toggle somewhere here. Now you might have second page. So it could be on a second page, depending on where you dropped it. Now, once you see it, you can simply tap on it. It will begin a three second countdown and then begin recording. Once you stop it, it will get automatically saved to your photos application or basically gallery. So we can go into it. I'm gonna keep the back off off, so I'm gonna ignore this. And you can see it right up here. By tapping on it, obviously you can view the recording. Now, uh, I will mention this. Uh, there is a little bit of a caveat to this. N not, every, uh, not every app will allow you to record it. So there are applications like, for instance, Netflix, which will block the screen recording. So if you try to record it, you'll end up with just a fully black screen. It's very scammy that applications can have more control over your own device than you do, uh, which kind of begs the question, is that really your device? Uh, but I'm just warning you, there are applications like that. Now, just to explain this a little bit further, this kind of option where applications can block screen recordings is done for uh, your own security for the most part at least that's what the initial idea of this was intended for and it works as such in an applications that provide some kind of sensitive content for instance your bank application which will also do this uh, but where it's not really necessary it's in Netflix or any kind of streaming platform because there is no sensitive information there it's only done for the corpo's uh, security not your own so just wanted to point that out Anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.